What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Sorry for no video on Tuesday, but we are back with another one. And uh, we got some snow up here in Northern Wisconsin. Let me tell you. Cody and I, that is who I am filming with today. There he is. We are up here at a lake that I only fished one time last year. And I've been waiting for this one to freeze because it's got really, really nice crappies. Obviously we've been fishing a lot of crappies so far this year, uh, just because the lakes that have been frozen that I know hold crappies, so those are the ones that we've been fishing. Now that some of the other lakes are frozen, uh, we're going to be starting to explore some other bodies of water that we've been waiting, just waiting so patiently to go out and fish. Cody and I, Jason and Brandon, we actually have a huge trip planned for this upcoming weekend and we're going to be hoping to film some content that has not been seen on the channel. We're really excited, it's a big trip. so. Stay tuned for that. I can't tell you anything about it yet, so you'll have to stay tuned next week for that. It is extremely cold out here. If I pull out my phone, just wanna give you guys an idea here of what we are dealing with. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's a whopping negative 11 right now. Uh, I don't know why I'm out here in a sweatshirt. I'm freezing my ass off, but luckily for me, I gotta show you guys something I got in the mail the other day. This is pretty clutch. So, in the mail the other day, I received some Taiwi heated gloves. This is the first time I've ever used something like this. I usually don't even spend the money to uh, get good gloves, let alone heated. As you can tell right here, you got the button to get heated. Hold that down, bam, red, you got it on high. Cody, what's, what's high on these? How hot is it? 130 degrees. 130 degrees. So obviously that's gonna be freaking nice because it's a negative 11. I really don't care for jigging with gloves on, but I tell you what, it's so cold out today, we don't have a shack because the ice is so thin still, that I'm gonna be wearing gloves. So huge shout out to Tidewee. If you guys wanna check out anything that they have, make sure to go down in the link, check it out. Cody's got Doritos and Cheetos. He must be uh, doing a catch and cook, so that's pretty good because I didn't eat breakfast. So hopefully we catch fish, we're gonna get all of our stuff, walk to the spot, and we're gonna get fishing. Stay tuned guys. Holy cow guys. That was a send. If you guys are wondering what the ice is like up here after that giant snowstorm, well, I'm here to tell you. Some spots have a lot of snow, like a lot. Like halfway across the lake was pure snow, 10 inches, awfulness. Um, the shorelines were a little slushy, and then after you got out a little ways, it actually wasn't bad, it was just fluffy snow. So that was good news. But then, like stuff what we're standing on right now, it was already so cold here that you can see there's no snow and there's probably five or six inches. That stuff already froze into the ice so there's already a snow layer, which is not the safest, it's not gonna be the strongest, but there was, over on the snow stuff, there was about three, four good inches. Uh, so this just added a couple more, but some spots are completely locked and frozen. So thank God we got this cold weather. I know it sucks being out here when it's this cold right now, but it was for the, the good of ice because if we would have gotten that snow without the cold this this would be a mess up here so yeah we made it to the spot it was a struggle i mean we brought like 300 pounds worth of equipment it feels like for two guys for some reason but we made it this spot specifically that we are fishing i actually found a crib last time i was out here so we are set up right now on a crib in deep water and uh, we're already marking fish on the live scope so won't be long and we get my reels out here bear the cold and we're gonna bring some fish topside all right, so drilled the first hole of the day, scanning around with my live scope, seeing what I can find. You guys can see it on here, hopefully. We got a few fish 30 feet that way. So we go ahead, drill a hole, and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. It is extremely, extremely cold out here, so everything is freezing up. Pretty sure the lens is all messed up here. These fish actually look like they're kind of coming my way. So, I'm going to actually take the rod out. I'm going to be starting the day off with a little tungsten and a frostbite dragonfly here. Be dropping this down. It's so incredibly cold. Everything is so frozen. I'm frozen. This is awesome. But we're going to drop down and see if we can catch these fish. 30 feet of water, so we do have to be careful with what we catch here. 
There's a big school though, that's for sure. Got a fish coming all the way off the bottom. About seven feet he's climbing right now. Let's come get my jig. I got a few suspended marks, which I'm assuming are gonna be crappies. Well, this fish slammed it. What do we got here? Seems like a better bluegill, maybe? Well, it is a bluegill. It's not really of the size I thought. But, it's a start. Still got those suspended marks. Let's see if we can get those. Here comes a mark. Oh, he's screaming up. And I just missed it. He just nailed it and I just missed him completely. There we go, that's a nice bluegill. Really, really long. Not that fat, but that is that's a nice bluegill. Haven't done a whole lot of bluegill fishing so far this year. Mainly because we haven't uh haven't really just targeted, we've just strictly been crappie fishing. Wow, there's probably 50 fish on my screen. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Seems like a nicer fish. Seems like a bluegill. A little bit better bluegill. So long and skinny. This is crazy. It's not really like they're even that skinny because they feel like they're pretty plump. They're just really long. That's a nicer fish. Digging down deep. Maybe a decent bluegill. Look at the colors on that guy. It's like light blue, orange. Really cool looking fish. Really long. It's probably, I don't know, probably an 8 inch bluegill, but he's not exactly the tallest. But it is a little bit longer of a fish. Bite pretty good, especially in this deep water like this. Oh yeah. Nick's got a nice one on you guys. Saw it. It's a top left there. That's Nick's fish that he's fighting right now. Looks like a big mark. Feels like a nice fish. Oh yeah. That's a nice bluegill. For sure. <laughs> it hit a freaking dinner bell. Wow, that's the nicest bluegill of the year so far for me. You know they're good if you're getting them on a freaking spoon. Normally, <laughs> that's not the first bluegill bait that I'm picking up and uh, using. I'm usually using that for crappies. That's probably a nice like eight and a half incher, I'd say. Not really that tall, just really long. Hit like a freight train though. Thought I had a crappie because I was a little more suspended, but uh, no, not really the case. Just a nice bluegill. I've got, this fish is gonna hit, right? Yeah, there you go. It's a nicer fish. Bluegill. There's a dog in it. He's everywhere. I'm losing in the boots. Oh my gosh. Is that a hybrid? I don't know. Look at the colors on that thing. Wow. That is a. <laughs> right on the frostbite dinner bell. It's definitely what we're dealing with is just some finicky bigger bluegills. We have a mark swimming through right now that keeps on going back and forth from Cody's bait to my bait. We have no idea what it is. We're thinking of pike. Cause these fish are kind of acting all weird around it but he's he's just patrolling he's not really doing anything we're seeing him go back and forth which is cool and all but he's messing up our fishing and plus i'd like to actually catch the guy to see what the heck he is probably a fun fight on these ultralights that one didn't waste any time hitting yeah 
Seems like I'm picking out some of the bigger bluegills right now using this dinner bell. Nicer bluegill for sure. Now it looks like that entire school is here. Wow. Yeah, the dinner bell seems like I'm picking off more of the bigger fish, which is fine because those are the ones I'd rather catch. Versus if I had a small tungsten on right now, I would be catching fish for sure. There's probably a good 20 fish on my screen right now, but I'd rather catch the bigger bluegills. And it is exciting. We went into today actually thinking we were going to catch crappies. And believe it or not, we're catching bluegills, which is fine because we haven't done that yet so far this year. So good to see. Got a fish coming. Wow, this fish is really raising. Let's see if he hits. And he did. Doesn't seem as big as the other ones, but he was hungry. It's not a bad bluegill. The average size so far seems like it's not too bad. Really, really fun, regardless of the size. They fight so freaking hard, and it's so cool when they they do that spinning around when you get them towards the top. There's got to be some decent bluegills in here we've caught some nice ones but i would imagine though there's probably some real real giants in here this one's gonna hit oh yeah maybe no you do all that work and you just don't hit he did hit never mind he's digging oh decent bluegill you still got a lot of marks on your screen um kind of a little smaller. Heck of a fight. The school is coming and going. We are fishing sunken tree. Come on, buddy. Get down there. Oh, that water is so warm. That water is so warm, Cody. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, that will have to be the end. I have to be getting to work. I'm going to go ahead start packing up. Did not catch any crappies. Cody caught a few yeah. decent ones. So if you guys want to check that out, go watch his video. But I did not. I don't know. Went into it thinking crappies and all we caught today were bluegills, which is fine. Good change of pace. So yeah, we're going to start packing up. We grab the big camera and I'll talk to you guys when we get back to the truck. Oh God. Well, made it back to the truck and Cody and I both realized that we were both very out of shape or I don't know we could blame it on the snow but I'm thinking that we're out of shape and not ready for this type of conditioning yet but that's okay it's still early in the season so hopefully by the end of it we'll be conditioned enough to be able to truck through as much snow as we did but made it back to the truck we're packing up all the gear right now hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video it was a little bit different decided to shake it up from the crappies well i was going to come into it filming a crappie video and uh well we ended up filming a bluegill video which is fine because i know a lot of people out there like to target bluegill and like to watch it as well and that's definitely something that we don't target a lot on the channel so if you guys want to see more bluegill fishing we'll actually go to some of these lakes that we do know of and we'll actually target some bigger bluegills so you have to let me know though down in the comment section because that is something we can do but unfortunately I gotta get to work. Cody, do you work? Do you, do you even work? Barely, he barely works, but he's gotta come with me because we rode together today. So if you guys wanna check out all the stuff he filmed today, he actually ended up filming two videos out here somehow. He's a man. But if you wanna check out his stuff, it'll all be linked down below. Just Cody S on YouTube. Go ahead, search it up. We fish with this guy all the time. But yeah, we're gonna finish packing up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to watch a whole bunch of ice fishing content. Like I said in the intro, we have a big trip coming up with him, Brandon, Jason from PC Fun. And uh, can't tell you guys what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be a good one. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Tight Lines from NB Edits. Thank you.